Big collectibles. Let's get right into this. Deadpool Bad Blood issue one. one. You got uh, Rob Liefeld there. Look, if you like collectibles, if you like comic books, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Link in the description. Big collectibles. And also, join the free Discord. Link in the description. All right. So, top five must-read comic books of the week. April 6th is Comic Book Wednesday. These are my top five. All right. Deadpool number one. Bad Blood is going to be definitely one that I get into. I'm going to read this. I'm going to review it. And hopefully we've got another banger, another run to follow. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at what comic book is in the next spot. We're looking at Moon Knight issue 10. Look, everything Moon Knight is on fire. That's why I had to get into issue 9. And issue 9 was pretty good. Moon Knight goes, if you missed it, I reviewed it. The storyline was of him uh, going into this haunted uh, building kind of deal. The, the building, at least the top floor, was uh, alive. And he cut a deal with this with this uh, building. It, it, it's like the deal was, I will use you as like my location of operations and you don't continue killing people i mean he's bugged out like super far out i can't wait to see what issue 10 brings the art is good the story was good and you know what it's just i didn't really ever get into moon knight that much i'm happy i am doing so now all right let's take a look at the next the third comic book looking at x-force issue 27 oh man you got wolverine there look definitely want to get into x-force I want to see if this is any good. I haven't read any of these books from this run, but uh, also X-Force Annual 1 drops this Wednesday, but I'm going to go ahead and give X-Force Issue 27 a chance to enter my rotation of comic book reads. We'll see if it's worth your time and money. All right, let's take a look at the next comic book in the fourth spot here. We've got X-Men 92. This is issue one. This is a flavor from the early 90s, hence the name X-Men 92. And I am super excited about this because, man, I have so many memories uh, growing up and reading X-Men in the early 90s. So I definitely want to go ahead and, and see what's the deal with this storyline and whatnot. It's going to be very nostalgic for me to get go through this book. All right, let's see what is going to be the last book. That we read this week. We've got Batman Killing Time. Issue 2. This is just a six part miniseries. Issue 1 was good. It was. I mean more than good. It was really good. Mucho caliente. I want to see what happens in issue 2. Now this is. If you missed it. This is a younger Batman. This is a storyline of him. Uh, just his his adventures when he was a uh, young a young uh, Batman. So definitely like this the whole premise of this. Can't wait to get into it. And uh, one book that just didn't make the cut for the top five is Scorched. Unfortunately, I really want to get you know read Scorched. Uh, the latest issue comes out this week. Uh, that spawned Scorched, uh, but. Unfortunately, I want to read these five more than what I want to read Scorched. And so it is what it is. All right, everybody, you know the deal. Good luck in all your collectible decisions. Let them be profitable and most importantly, dope.